So does your pastor teach you about fringes? Say again? Fringes. Can you explain that? Get fringes. I'm going to show you. You see these things right here? These are fringes. I thought maybe you would know what it is. These are fringes. Now, this is a law. Now, you said the laws aren't done away with, and your pastor said that the laws aren't done away with. Right? right? So I'm going to read one law. Read. Numbers chapter 15 and verse 38. You know? What, what, wait, before we get it. Is there any suggestions in the Bible? No suggestions. No such thing as... Oh, oh, wait, hold on. Let's get that. What's your, what's your name again? Jay. Jay. All right, what's that again? God's word is his word. God's word is his word. word. All praise. I like you already. Read. Numbers chapter 15 and verse 38. Uh -huh. Speak unto the children of Israel uh -huh. and bid them that they make them fringes in the borders of their garments throughout their generations and that they put upon the fringe of their borders a ribbon of blue and it shall be unto you for a fringe that ye may look upon it and remember all the commandments of the Lord and do them and that ye seek not after your own heart and your own eyes. When it says, seek not after your own heart. Don't lean on to your own understanding and say, you know what? Back then, I think he meant this. But now, today, we don't have to do it. Remember, there's no suggestions in here, right? right. So when God says, wear fringes, that means what? Wear fringes. When he says, put on a ribbon of blue, put on a ribbon of blue, right? So now, does your pastor teach that? To your knowledge. Not to, my, can't. Not to your knowledge. Can't okay. Right okay. And you know, it always says two things. Either a person doesn't know, or, or they know, but they choose to do opposite of what God is saying. So either way, that's a man that I don't want to follow. So I don't want to follow a man that's being directly disobedient to God. So he sees the law, he sees all of these laws, the Sabbath day, fringes, so forth and so on, the high holy days, and he says, you know what, we're not doing that. That's a man I don't want to follow, because he's going directly against God. Number two is a man that has the book and he don't know what the hell the book is talking about. Right. He just start freestyling. He's just making stuff up off the top of his head. Right. Either way, that's not somebody we want to follow. Agreed? Agreed? Right? Okay, so now, next time you go to church, you ask your pastor why he didn't talk about these fringes. But let's get back to your, um, to your, do y'all keep the Sabbath? Huh? Do y'all keep the Sabbath? Sabbath, S A B B A T. I, I hear, yeah, I hear you saying. Do you keep it? Do you? Um, do you keep it? Do you know what keep it is? Do, do, do you go to church on Saturday? On the Sabbath day? Yes. Go to church on Sunday. Okay, you say you go on Sunday. So, let's get, let's get the Sabbath day, um, Exodus 28. Hold on. So you said it's on Sunday. Maybe a different day. Correct me if I'm wrong. Yeah, okay, all right. It, it is a different day. It's the seventh day, but we're going to get it out of God's mouth. Right? So let's hear it, and then I'm going to put the mic back on you. I like your spirit. you got a humble spirit. All right, read. Exodus chapter... Sunday. So, boom. So, if the first day is Sunday, 
then that would be Saturday. So there you go. So that's something else. Now, do y'all go on Saturday or Sunday? I go on Sunday. Okay, you go on Sunday. So now, remember when I read Malachi 2 and 7? It says the priest's lips should, should keep knowledge. Now, God, two commandments I just gave you. Fringes, and I gave you the law on, on the Sabbath. He said, keep the Sabbath day holy. Remember it. Uh, work six days, rest on the seventh, right? So far, your church are going on Sunday. So you got two questions to ask your pastor when you get to church Sunday. You got it? And I want you to do your own research. I want you to do your own research. Don't just take our word for it. Oh man, they, they took that one script out of, out of context, which the, uh, Exodus 20 and 8 was directly from the Ten Commandments. So we know there's no taking that out of context, right? And also when you study, well, I pray that you, you study, You'll see that when God said, I gave you straight commandments, those are simple. The laws he gave to us straight. It's not a mystery when it comes to the laws. You got it? So when it says fringes in the border of blue, there's no other way to interpret that. To keep the Sabbath day holy, there's no three, four, five different ways to interpret that. You got it? Because it's, it's real direct. It's real plain. Read it again, then I'm going to ask you one more question. Remember the Sabbath day to keep it holy. Six days shalt thou labor and do all thy work. But the seventh day is the Sabbath of the Lord thy God. In it thou shalt not do any work, thou, nor thy son, nor thy daughter, thy manservant, nor thy maidservant, nor thy cattle, nor thy stranger that is within thy gates. So, all right, so that's, I just wanted to hatch that down for you. So that's two questions, fringes, and then the Sabbath. Now another, one, one more thing. Do, in your church, do y'all celebrate, um, like Mother's Day, Father's Day, Pastor Week or Pastor Anniversary. Not, not no Pastor. Okay, Mother's Day, Christmas. Wait, 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 because you said not really. Like, it, that's really a yes or no. Do y'all celebrate? Do y'all acknowledge it? Or... Okay, yeah, well, yeah, I'm not saying that they have a Christmas tree in the church and everybody has their gifts there. But everybody that congregates at that church celebrate they go home and they celebrate Christmas they acknowledge Christmas and maybe the pastor will do a sermon on Christmas he may mention it or something like that okay so that's another thing remember the priest's lips should keep knowledge nowhere in the Bible did God tell us remember there's no suggestions anywhere anywhere in here did God tell us to celebrate Christmas to celebrate birthdays to celebrate what's another one Easter God gave us high holy days. Give me Leviticus 23. God gave us high holy days. He gave us days to, to, uh, to honor and celebrate, right? Hey. Birthdays and Christmas is not in there. Now, I'm going to show you where they got Christmas from. I am going to show you in here, but let's see what God said about it. First, I'm going to just give you a couple of high holy days that we should be keeping, and I'm going to ask you, does your church keep this? Leviticus 23, three. Leviticus chapter 23 and verse 2. Speak unto the children of Israel, and say unto them, Concerning the feast of the Lord, which ye shall proclaim to be holy convocation. So these are feasts that are holy convocations. And he gives us a whole list. Read. Even these are my feasts. Six days shall work be done. But the seventh day is the Sabbath of rest. So the very first one, most important, the very first one is the Sabbath. Right? Try, try to jump. Jump to the next one. Pass on. Read. Verse 5. And the 14th day of the first month at even is the Lord's Passover. So we're just jumping through one. The next one is the Lord's Passover. Do you guys keep the Passover or do you do Easter? Okay, you do the Passover. How, how, do, you, how do you do it? Do you remember? How do you? Um, what do y'all eat on that? It's been a minute. Yeah. Okay, okay. All right, I'm not gonna say you don't do it. If you forgot, you forgot. But the Passover, you, you eat lamb. Do you remember only eating lamb that day? And bitter herbs? Okay, I'm gonna tell you, chances are, y'all ain't do it. Cause I don't see him not keeping the Sabbath, not keeping fringes, not keeping all these high holy days. He keeps birthdays and Christmas. Oh yeah, we gonna do the Passover. I doubt it. I seriously doubt it. I'm not saying that you're a liar, but I just doubt that he's doing it.
Mission is family. Nation is community. Nation is men leading by example. Nation is women's support. Nation is children with role models. Nation is unity. Nation is you.